Here is my astrograph 8 inch telescope on an ioptron mount. This mount is a IEQ45 Pro. And the camera I'm using is an ASI 533 Cooled Pro. And then over here, as you can see here, is the, if I could get it to focus, <laughs> is the uh, ASI 120 uh, monochrome camera for guiding. Now, what I do for setup to save time is I use kind of marks for things that uh, always get set up the same way. For example, here's a mark on the um, dovetail that I can set up consistently. And then down here, I have marks where the weights go. So I could always have the balance set up and I could skip doing the balancing act uh, with the telescope. Uh, when the telescope's shut down, the focuser stays fixed at the last focusing point, so I don't have to worry about that. Uh, what else can I say? Um, it's very helpful to have a pier. Even though I do have to realign the polar, redo the polar alignment, it does aid in that it's just off a little bit. By the way, here's the Raspberry Pi using the Ecos ND server built in. And by the way, everything runs off at 12 volts. Uh, it's a 12 volt system including the Raspberry Pi. The hub over here is a USB 3 hub that runs off of 5 volts. The next box up there which is the clear top, that's a uh, DO controller. And the DO controller is made by Robert Brown and you could look him up. He, it's part of his My DO Controller Pro. So that's a very uh, uh, nice little do controller. Now I built this off of his circuits and have modified the software just a bit. The other thing here is a uh, power pole dis power distribution panel for my 12 volts. And then attached to that, as you can see in there, is a USB to serial adapter for the uh, ioptron mount. Now, I do have the controller mounted up to the uh, telescope mount, but half the time it's not there, it's not really needed. Uh, so that's one nice thing about uh, the system, I don't always have to have the controller out. And then I have a 12 volt uh, supply into the um, cooling fan here to cool down the telescope to quicken the, um, the Newtonian cool down and stabilization of the optics. Uh, also, right now it's not in zero point, but I do have marks indicating zero uh, position for the mount, and that's usually where I start off the mount. Uh, cable management is really important. Um, as you can see here, I've done cable management and attached everything as best and neatly as I could. And I have one cable that runs down into a nylon brad sleeve. And so I have all the cables from the camera to the dew, um, dew heater and temperature monitor and uh, the other guide camera. And this all leads down over here and gets attached into this pl uh, shelf here. Uh, this could be move, easily moved around. I don't have to worry about cables tangling or having problems with cable snagging, that sort of thing. So that's the setup here that I'm using. Uh, I do have another telescope that I have. It's a uh, uh, William Optic 73 millimeter uh, um, Zenith Star, I think it is. Anyway, it's a smaller telescope. I usually use that in the winter time because it's just easier to take out and deal with the cooler temperatures. And speaking of cooler temperatures, in Minnesota here, it gets pretty cold. And uh, I use on the power cables, silicon power 
uh, cables, which provides the maximum flexibility in cold weather. Uh, I find that when I get down to about 15 degrees Celsius, it things get kind of brittle and, and cables don't want to move very easily. Uh, and anything below that, it's just uh, it just doesn't work well. I I do get some issues with the mount starting to um, lock up just because the added uh, resistance in the gear motor uh, combination. Oh, and by the way, down here is the 12 volt power supply that I use. And like I said earlier, I could run this off a 12 volt battery, a deep cycle battery, and it will last all night. So that's nice for portability. And I do have another uh, tripod that I could use and attach to the uh, EQ45 um, that uh, is portable. Now the problem I have here is if you look up here, we have a big maple tree and it blocks half of my sky. Uh, that's a problem. Uh, you know, my, my view of the sky is very limited as you can see. Uh, I have trees, neighbors' houses, and so forth. Uh, hopefully these clouds will clear by soon and uh, we could do some demonstrations on PhD2 guiding. Thanks for watching and clear skies.